Today on our 2014 Kia Sportage, we're going to take a look at the 23 by 60 Strongberg Carlson cargo carrier for two inch hitches only. That part number is CC-100. Now we already have it on our vehicle, it's going to show you a few features. Well, the first feature I just want to show you, and like I said, it can hold up to 500 pounds. You see that it has the mesh bottom, so it's going to keep out all you do to bring your dirt. And it also has a black powder coat, so that's going to help from rust and corrosion. First thing, we're going to make a couple of measurements. Overall distance first, we add it to our vehicle. And I'm looking at 26 inches here. Now our closest point will be three inches there. And for our ground clearance, looking up under the screw right here, that's going to be nine and a half inches. Now, while the cargo camping is empty, you can't see, you can get in and out of your hitch. I'm, out of your hatch, I'm very sorry. So, we want to show you the breaking point. So, if you were loading up your cargo carrier, that you pretty much don't want to go over 20 inches. So, if at 20 inches, you're going to maybe have a little trouble getting inside the back of your hatch. But, just keep that in mind. You may want to go lower than that. Now, on the speed, the Kia Sportage, it has the exhaust on the driver's, I mean the passenger side, and it's pointing downward. So you just keep that in mind if you have any heat system materials that you may want to place them elsewhere, but you should have no problem at all. And once again, this is equipped for two inch hitches only. It does not come with a pinning clip. You can find it on our website. That part number is PC3. Or you can find any other anti-rattle bolts and clips on our website also. So that's going to complete our look at the 23 by 60 Strongberg Carlson cargo carrier. And that part number again is CC-100 on today's 2014 Kia Sportage. Let's see how it does in our test course. Here it is on our test course. First is the slalom area, which simulates side-to-side -side action, like turning the corners or evasive maneuvers. Next are the alternate speed bumps, which show you the twisting action like hitting a pothole, road debris, or hitting a curb. Finally, we are at the solid speed bumps, which show you up and down action to simulate a parking garage or coming out your driveway. 